Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk through the cause of leaf abscission or leaf drop, as it's more commonly known. And this video is primarily aimed at key stage five biologists because you don't really do this uh, particular subject matter any earlier uh, at key stage three or key stage four. Now, abscission occurs in deciduous trees, so trees that lose their leaves, and it is caused by a change in the levels of certain plant hormones. Now, abscission, as I said, is also called leaf drop. What we're going to do is just going to draw a very quick sketch of the area of the sort of plant that we're concerned with. So what we're going to do is a very, very rough sketch. It's not the best picture by any means at all. So we've got a bit of a stem. Put the leaf in place. My attempt at drawing the veins. We'll just add a little bit of colour to that there. So we've got the leaf there. A very, very rough picture. And the part that we are concerned with is this part here. And we're going to talk through what, what's actually going on at that particular part there. Now, the first thing to note is about something called cytokinin. Now, the level of cytokinin drops as a result of lower availability of nutrients and changing day lengths. So when the nutrient availability goes low, we get a drop in this hormone called cytokinin. So I'll put a, a number one here, put there, there's a drop in cytokinin hormone. Now there, there are many uh, different plant hormones. We've got oxin, cytokinins, ethene, gibberellins, and I'll, there's a separate video that talks through those particular plant hormones, but this time, we're just interested for now in cytokinin. Now what happens is that the plant withdraws nutrients from the leaf. Since it is about to drop, the plant doesn't want to waste nutrients by sending them to the leaf that's about to drop. So in terms of phloem transport, and phloem is the, uh, the vessel that carries things like sugars within the plant. In terms of phloem transport, the nutrients simply flow back into the main body of the plant, which is the stem. So essentially what we're getting, if I draw this in a, with a blue arrow on the original picture, we're getting these nutrients essentially coming back this way into the stem. We don't want to put nutrients in the leaf that's about, about to fall. So we're going to withdraw nutrients. So that really is the second stage. What we're going to do is we're going to withdraw our nutrients. Now, as the cytokinin levels drop, what we find is that the level of auxins also decrease. Now, I said auxin was a type of plant hormone, so auxin level falls. So we've had a drop in cytokinin. When that happens, we trigger the plant to withdraw nutrients from the leaf as a subsequent knock-on effect. The level of auxins fall too. And in response to the drop in auxin, another hormone that we can say is antagonistic to auxin called ethene increases in concentration as ethene production is stimulated. So when auxin levels fall, we get an increased level, increased concentration of a hormone called ethene. So we're going to have that. We'll just pick a little like that. I'll do it with an arrow. Put ethene, conk for concentration, rises. So when oxygen level falls, the ethene concentration rises. And we'll put in brackets just a reminder that's antagonistic. It's kind of doing the opposing or opposite effect. Now, high levels of ethene in the leaf stimulate the production of what's called cellulase enzymes. If a word ends in ASE, A's, it usually means it's an enzyme. So high levels of ethene in the leaf stimulate production of these cellulase enzymes in what's called the abscission zone of the petiole. Now the petiole is the small stem connecting the leaf to the main stem. And what it does, it digests the petiole and the leaf drops. So what we're going to do is we're just going to 
essentially zoom in on this part of the diagram. I'll just draw it in this circle region here. I'm just going to show you the region essentially that I'm referring to. So what I've got, what I'm drawing is the main part of the stem. We'll put these in place. So if I draw, draw this very, very quickly and then I'll explain the bits that we've got. And just add a little bit of colour just to make it that that little bit easier to work out what we're doing. So we'll colour this central part yellow. Again, this is only a very, very rough sketch. I'm, I'm not going for neatness here, I'm just it's just a rough diagram. Just to make the point. There we go. Now what we have, if I do this in a darker green colour, what we have is a region called the abscission zone. I'll just colour that in dark green there. And that abscission zone is on the petiole. And if I just circle it at the top picture, it's the very small, it's a very small part of stem that joins the leaf to the main stem. So that area there, if we just label it, this part here is the petiole, and that bit that I shaded in green is known as the abscission zone. And you might be able to guess that this part that I shaded in yellow was the phloem that I referred to. Now what you get is water and nutrients moving out of the leaf. So, and just to recap the key point of what I said while I've drawn this picture. So high levels of ethene, so we've said ethene concentration rises, it stimulates production, yeah production, of cellulase enzymes. Now, when you get those enzymes produced in the abscission zone of the petiole, what we do is get digestion of that petiole and the leaf drops. So that leads to digestion of the petiole, and that happens in that abscission zone. Now, cytokinin hormone is one that prevents something called senescence, and that's the removal of nutrients. Now, this is what causes deciduous trees to get their autumn leaf colour, which explains why, when levels of cytokinin drop, the nutrients start to withdraw from the leaf back into the main phloem. Now, auxins, they have a variety of effects on plants, but in this case, what their job or or function is, is to inhibit the production of ethene. So that unless the plant needs the leaf to drop, the cellulase enzymes are not produced to digest the cells in the abscission zone. So just to say that all again, essentially cytokinin prevents plant senescence. And I'll just put that word down, and I'll put that down here in a bracket. So what I said there was S-E-N, senescence, and that's the removal of nutrients. That's of pretty much the stage that I was referring to up here, number two. So cytokinin level is high, we don't get senescence. But when cytokinin levels fall, as I've said in step one, then we start to get this withdrawal of the nutrients. And I've also said that oxygen levels fall. And as we've seen, or as I've said, oxygens inhibit the production of ethene. So when oxygen levels fall, ethene level rises, and then we get this whole process leading to the digestion of the petiole. And that's pretty much the cause of leaf abscission. Okay, hope all that helps.